Well, who's going to be stupid enough to strap this thing to their ass? Well, I think that would be Carrie. I've seen that clip. I've seen it. I think that one's faked. There's got to be a cable involved somewhere. Well, you're going to find out. Starting to get a little pressure. Excellent. It won't be long now. I don't think I can hold on to it much longer. Really? Uh, it's starting to... There is right on the money. I'm really excited. I think these tests went extremely well. I mean, we found the butter zone. About one-third full is exactly what we need. Now they want some payload data. 20 PSI? 40 PSI? Carrie pumps as much air as she dares without bursting the bottle. Okay, we're at 60 PSI. Three, two, one. Ow! That's really stiff. In three, two, one. That means we got two kilograms, 20 feet. That's a nice, easy round calculation. It's 18.93 liters. I'm gonna fill it one third full with water. If the soda bottles fail to get carry airborne, this could- Okay. Okay, two kilogram load. I'd say my- Oh, it's getting crazy. Let's just, we're gonna have to launch it. All right. Stand back. We're gonna have to do it. Three, two, one. Holy crap, run! Run, run! <laughs> Faster, Grant. I'm pumping as fast as I can. The steel cap, nine water coolers. So back to plan A, 15 soda bottles and a bicycle pump. We know that there are 15 bottles in the rig that they used in the film because we have a translation. So we're gonna take 1 15th of my weight strap it to a three liter bottle, bring it up to 90 PSI, and see how high we can get. If carries weight, they're in business. Three, two, one. Wow, well that went exactly to the top of the scale. That means we've got exactly 16 feet, and uh, that's not metric, so let me do some conversions really fast, and it's really high. We'll come back to that. This three liter bottle at 90 PSI lifted three and a half kilograms, 490 centimeters. That's amazing, because that's 1 15th my weight. 15 bottles could possibly lift me to the top of this scale. And I can't wait to tell the boys, because we all kind of, eh, it's probably faked. Maybe not. Their job, the 15 bottle rig as specified in the game show clip. <laughs> oh yeah, are you ready to fly? That's gonna be amazing. The bottles will be filled with air via bicycle inner tube valves, which are glued into place in rubber stoppers. So, air will get in, but not out. They carefully assemble 15 cable tie quick release systems, which they secure in a plywood housing. The PVC collars are fixed to a trigger plate and placed over the quick release platform to complete the rig. All that's left is for Carrie to put her shoulder to the pump. Bottle three, I'm already getting tired. Here we go, in three, two, one. Ooh, at least we know it works. Test run, obviously a complete success, a little scary. All right, so lesson number one, tape the bottles better. This could be pretty dangerous, so I think maybe I'm gonna shoot the simulate off first and see how it reacts and make sure I'm not gonna, you know, break my neck. <laughs> designated pilot and Grant needs to measure her up like that not for a coffin but for a launch gantry just about perfect that's it that's just like the video next Carrie tests out various harness options for the bottle rocket backpack wow the miracle of flight what the hell are you guys doing <laughs> I'm a piñata the day has finally come for the launching. I have to say I have a few butterflies in my stomach. Splash down in the bay, which has our bottle rocketeer asking the obvious question. How am I going to get out? There's going to be a, a, a boat and a jet ski to uh, fish you, I mean to rescue you, I, I mean to get you. <laughs> Joking aside. I might have to launch the simulate a few times before I can actually commit to this because it's looking somewhat dangerous as the gantry is moved into place yeah it's perfect Tor mount the bottle rocket on the launch pad yeah good beauty and have a joke at carrie's well, expense eventually another dummy is going to get in there 
No, I'm kidding. Come on. Come on. I'm joking. Terry's too nervous. No more joking. Let's grim up. It, this is probably more important for me than anybody else because this right here is going to tell me whether I want to get in this or not. <laughs> so I'm crossing my fingers. I don't want that to happen to me, so I think we need another test with the dummy and get it right before you put me in the rig. Absolutely. After I have a lot of doubts about the last test. I just don't know what's really going to happen, and unless we can get this to work in a way that's a little bit safer, I just, I don't want to get on it. Oh. I would not let you get on that. No way. See, Dave's pulling rank. I'm not getting on it. You're off the hook. <laughs> but you're off the hook. But... <laughs> I didn't want to chicken out, but I did not sleep last night. I kept thinking I was going to break my neck on this thing. I'm really, really relieved I don't have to do it. So, no aerial acrobatics oh. or a trip to the chiropractor for Carrie. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I wouldn't have been scared of doing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.